Hey there, sorry for the weird audio. I'm currently using a Blue Yeti Nano mic and I don't particularly have a good setup for allowing much noise cancellation when it comes to right over to my right here. I've got a fan blowing and being in the middle of summer it's just ugh. So with that out of the way, I wanted to explain a few things. As you can see on the screen, I'm currently working on the next Ultra Vegito mod pack. Well, part of the mod pack, I should say. Because I already have the pure demon one still in the works, but I think if anything I might just use a, like, another modded head mesh, because the way this one is done is tricky to say the least, especially with the eyebrows they're being them being disconnected. Hold on, let me just shut up Discord. So anyways, as a lot of people will know, especially in the Dragon Ball community, with Slick Goku dying last week. That hit hard for a lot of people, and my condolences to his family and his closest friends. You know who you are. Dai, Devil Artemis, Prince Vegeta. You three, like, you seem like you were the closest to him as far as I've been concerned. And it's like, <sighs> it's a tough one. Because I have so much respect for Slick, even though he had, we had only met twice, two times, well, verbally. We had spoken a couple of times through Twitter and Discord, but not really very long conversations to say the least. The second time, the first time we met, we verbally met, was through <laughs> essentially my ex-girlfriend who flaunted me like a celebrity. Or an object, so to speak. It's like, looking back at the behavior, that's pretty much how it seemed, because I felt incredibly embarrassed. Regardless of how things go... It was tough. The second time we met... We... Slick essentially gave, let me breathe a sigh of relief. Because he was incredibly chill with everything. He was chill with the fact that things were the way they were. He knew the, sh he knew the shit that was going on. And so he was incredibly forgiving of that. And honestly, I could not be happier about that. So, when Slick passed, it wasn't easy, because the reason, like, Chet, tears would have been shed that day, if it weren't for the fact that, before, when, how do I put this? Like, a couple of weeks prior, I had already lost my great aunt. So I think all the tears that would have been shed for Slick went, were going to my aunt beforehand. And so. Yeah. It was tough. It, it's been a tough week for me, and even more so because of, because of the fact that. Essentially, with Slick's fam, it's like I can only imagine the pain they're going through. It's like he, like he was a genuinely good person. I mean, not to say that my aunt was bad or anything. Not even, like, not even close. But it's the fact that. He reached out to so many people. He touched their hearts and let them, and even and was able to make, like, make people feel welcome when they didn't think they deserved it.
so, and so in the uh, from the bottom of my heart to his family to his mother your son reached a lot of people's hearts he is a genuinely good person at heart so don't waste so as a fan of his and as someone who has ver like maybe not known him personally don't let his memory die because as one old saying goes a person never truly dies until they're forgotten so don't let his memory be lost to time but anyways now on to the subject of what I'm being here so uh, I still want to apologize for the fan though but as for Ultra Vegeta as you can see I'm just like currently working on the next like Cus like the next like the, I guess I guess because it was sort of called a demon form in Arches and fan manga, I might we might as I might as well just for the sake of convenience dub this semi demon Ultra Vegito because there's also the pure demon version, which you like if you've been on my Patreon, it's publicly available for everyone. The alpha is publicly available for anyone to download. As a separate mod, but it's currently over costume one, like the fir like the first, like the like, it's essentially over the main slot. I'm currently doing some research to make fu like my mods costume compatible, including slick. So that way, like slick, team Go like Gohan Black, and when I get around to it, I might even do some custom retextures. Over costume one, like I might even do a Gohan verse mod pack as well, because it's like I might exclude like if, Alvo if Alvaro is okay with it, I might add, I'll add his. Tw I want. I was also thinking of adding his Android twenty is go the Gohan absorbed twenty one to the mod pack, since that pay pays homage to to Gohan versus Android twenty one movie. So, that's just a thought that's been going through my head. Because I already have models like Absalom Gohan. I could quickly retexture Gohan, to, like Teen Gohan, to be look to look like emo with cut recolors as well. I have my Gohan Black. I do have a slick Goku model that could go over super. I have the slick Goku. I could and go and there's also the Gohanic, but. That is more dependent on a few factors. So, so I'll just get that because it's just that all the f it's all of it looks like it. I'm I'm just grabbing this chest so that way I can do some like so I can get the baseline weight paints done. So you get the gloves. Ah, separate. But, anyways, there's one thing that's been on my mind as of late at, with Slick's death. Should I finish the DBC Grot mod that I forgot here? Because the day he died, the day before he died, he asked me on Discord if I could mod Dragon Ball Z Kakarot with this model. It's like this was just essentially just me re uh, redesigning the mod m the mesh to fit the, the style of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which I'm fine with. Like, I'm fine with doing. It's like weight paint wise, it's all like it's almost good for a bait like for an alpha test. It's like, and I made sure it's true. Like it was true to the model I had used for fighters as well. So I still got some UV mapping to do, but what I'd like to ask is, should I really do this? Not because I don't, I don't like, I don't want to disrespect Slick or anything. What I don't want to disrespect is his memory. 
or essentially what I'm sca scared about is disrespecting the dead. It's not right to do so. And because on one hand, you've got the people who want to honor Slick f uh, and his memory by having him as like a playable character model on various games. Even my fighter's mod of Slick, I've been meaning to fix up because now I've got some ideas on what was going on with the chain. But there's also the fact that... Hey... <sighs> There's also the fact that people, there will be people who don't want Slick's memory to be tarnished as well, or, sorry, bad wording, it's like, people think it's taboo to use my, his likeness in a mod. That's, ultimately, I'm going to leave that up to the McConnance. If enough people say I should go for it, then I'm... I'll more than happily do so. I mean, I've even got a couple. I've even got someone, on, like one person, on tw already commenting on my Twitter post about it. And yeah, I may go. F I may as well go for it. But the one big thing that will guarantee I continue making finishing this mod is if those who were close to him r say it's okay. I don't want to trip over anything. Well, I don't want to trip over any negative emotions. This is like, I left this until now because emotions at the time of Slick's death would have been at an all-time high and probably still are. But anyways, to conclude this video because it's already gone over for 10 minutes, me just rambling on, what I've been doing. As you can see, I've been working with, I've been working on the Slick Goku mod for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. There's that. I've also been sorting out public work because with Vegito in particular, I've not only been doing fighters mods for him, but those who play VR chat will know that I've just recently made my alt my Vegito public. It was like as a public 3.0 avatar. I also plan to do a world where all of my later uploads, like Bardock, Gogeta, and Vegito, will all uh, like, and I might as well as all my updated models like Shadow, when I and also like Shadow Hedgehog, when I and also when I plan to do Silver. I also have other Sonic models in mind, like Amy Rose, thanks to a, because of a commission. There's also, because my friend Mario Play wants to do some more Lythera based jokes, and Sonic models are now a thing, I'm also gonna, I also have archived models of Rouge the Bat, I'm also working on E123 Omega. So, but, anyways, enough about that. To conclude this video, should I finish Slick? Should I finish the Kakarot version of Slick? And for as for Vegito, I plan to have this app, this mod, this the beta, like the alpha of the se like what I'd like to dub semi ultra Vegito, like semi demon ultra Vegito into fighters a couple of hours after having this done, after having this video uploaded, at the earliest, because I also have I have other things in my life that I need to worry I have been worrying about. But anyways, hope you have a good one, stay safe, and my sincere condolences to Slick's family. He was a good person, and may his memory never die. Thank you so much for watching, sorry it's a different one, and sorry for the audio. Thank you. Have a good one. Peace out.